Hey T Squad, it's me, Lady T, and welcome back to Lady TLTW. Or Lady T's World. So before I get started, remember comment down below to get a chance at a shout out. This week's shout out, sadly, no one commented on the videos, or if they did, I just can't see it. So shout out to any of you guys who are about to comment or just like commented on the videos but then deleted it shout out to you guys shout out to my new subscribers because we've gotten up to 66 i bet that we cannot get up to 75 if we get up to 75 then i would be so happy <laughs> It's sad, honestly. Anyways, as you guys may have read right down here, welcome to Let's Talks number, what number is it? Six. Called Tips About High School, My uh, From Personal Experience. So, before we get started, remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, join the T-Squad, T-Squad, and also... I, if you guys didn't notice, I am wearing a whole bunch of bracelets that have been made by yours truly. Anyways, so. Also, if you hear any background noises, I apologize. It's just stuff going on outside of this room. But anyways, so. I'm here to address either some rumors or uh, legends, basically, I guess you could call them, about high school also, about how my first week of high school has been. That's also why I'm not doing a rubber band bracelet this week because I've been too busy. But as soon as I post this video, I am practicing bracelets. Not these, but better. Anyways. Let's go, T-Squad. Okay, guys. So, without making you guys fall. So... First thing that I am going to be addressing is the old saying that once you get into high school, all your friends and everyone who was super nice or fake, if you guys don't know what fake means, go look, uh, fake people are, then go look at one like my second Let's Talks about fake people and stuff, so... This is, part, uh, so people not talking to you after you get into high school is partly true. There are some people who you might not see because you are not in their class because you guys all have different classes. They don't do everyone in the same class. I have two academic classes and two electives. So here's a short little sweet story about my past week. I'm just going to cram it all into one. So, I have made a couple potential, or uh, you guys couldn't see those air quotes, potential or new friends, uh, and then I've also been talking to some of my older friends who either are up in 10th or 11th, or who are in my grade who I haven't seen in a long time, so, well, because of me being virtual last semester, so it's crazy, but anyways, so I am, um, have made a friend, in, well, I made friends with a couple people, I reunited with a couple people, and I bumped into a couple people. Now, the people who I bumped into, so I can't claim them as my friends, so <laughs> I don't think this is what you call a disclaimer, but, um, this is totally true what I'm about to tell you. I was in the hallway going to, I guess it was second block. And I saw three girls who were in my class last year. I'm not saying names because, you know, Lady T respects your rights. But if you watch this channel, then you know who you are. Um, I said, hey there. And I'm just going to call them... I'm just, hey guys, and they're like, um, hi Lady T. Yes, they did say my real name, but you know, I respect my own privacy, and I don't say my real name. That's why I also ain't telling you the school, but I will tell you, like, I have this class, or this class. But anyways, um, 
So that was one of many, okay, and then I bumped into somebody who I haven't really been friends with for a while, and this person's like, hey, Lady T, I'm like, oh, it's you, and it's just like, it's total opposite, you know, how they're like, once you get into high school, your friends are going to stop talking to you, actually, you quit talking to some of them as well. Or it's like, try being in class and everyone is allowed on their phones. Well, then you look at me, I, I was in a classroom with this person who just, you were trying to talk to them and they're just like, uh-huh, sure, yeah. And, and to pretend there's a phone in my hand. Anyways, so that is another thing. I mean, I know this does slash, like, clearing up old legends, but, okay, tips for high school. Because I have spent six minutes of this video just talking about people not talking to you. I'm a socializer. Um, that's, and in fourth, in my fourth class of the day, my last class, I do actually talk to people. They are really, um, <laughs> just in case, uh, how would I put this? They are really interesting people. They make me laugh, and they are full of, um, what's the word? They're upper class people, not richer, but, you know, 10th, 11th, 12th, 11th, and 12th graders. They are silly, basically. Um, so, how would I put this? Okay, anyways, tips before I end the video. Um, tip number one, don't talk a lot. This is something I struggled with in middle school. Um, now that I'm in high school, it's like I don't talk as much, but I talk a little bit. Uh, as much as I did, but not as much. I mean, it's, I talk a lot, give or take. It's like, oh, she can talk for four minutes. Well, I'll talk for three minutes and prove you wrong. She can't be quiet for a minute. Well, that <laughs> lies. Anyways, um, because if you talk a lot, you're not only disturbing the teacher's lesson, but you're also disturbing everyone else. That's why during first book, I don't talk a lot. I try not talking a lot during any of my classes, really, especially my first class and fourth class of the day. Now, my second and my third block, I have a couple friends in, so of course I'll talk occasionally, but there's differences. Between the reasoning for that, it's because I have no one else to talk to, usually, because I don't get along with a lot of people. Also, another tip number two is, um, yes, I'm making these up as I go. <laughs> uh, don't relight old fuses. Meaning, I know, I don't mean bombs. I don't do bombs on my channel. This is a friendly channel. I just gripe a lot. But, um, this means if you bump into somebody who you didn't get along with in middle school or any other grade, like, if you guys are high schoolers and you guys can relate to this, comment down below if you guys are freshmen and you know what I'm talking about, because I'm a freshman too. Comment down below if you guys are in middle school and have any questions, just tell me. I will answer any of you guys' questions. Um, just all you gotta do is comment. Um... But, like, I haven't socialized with anyone who I didn't get along with in school. I don't avoid them either. It's more like, um, I'm in a room. I was in the restroom once, and somebody who I didn't get along with, not saying names, because I don't talk about people on my channel. But they entered the bathroom, and I was washing my hands. And I was afraid that this person was going to come up and start crap with me, so I just walked away, didn't talk, didn't speak, didn't do anything. So that is basically just, don't, av don't you just ignore them. You gotta start fresh. I've learned this, this tip number three, start fresh when you go to middle school. I mean high school. This also can go for middle school, it doesn't really matter. I'll do middle school tips another time, as well as elementary, because I've been through all three of those but anyways um also don't be a brainiac I mean 
you're smart. <laughs> everyone's smart. Everyone's beautiful in their own personal way. But it's like, if you answer more than one question, people are, because you're the only one who will t answer them or you just answer fast enough, you got to give other people a chance to talk. Because they don't want to be interrupted or they also need opportunities so they all can participate. It's respectful of not only the teacher but also your class because you're not, it doesn't say, oh, Lady T on the roster. It says everyone on the roster besides Lady T. There, I mean, everyone is part of the class. So that is just, no, I'm, I guess I'm speaking from personal experience, not like now Somebody else has done that before in one of my classes. Otherwise, I don't know. And also, you gotta... I'm not saying, oh, suck up to your teachers. I'm saying you gotta be nice to your teachers and they'll be nice to you. Treat others the way you want to be treated. You can't... I'm not saying, oh, go give somebody gifts. Go compliment them every time. If it's somebody you don't like, then just ignore it. I'm just saying just that. Also, um, don't... Whenever you go to uh, going to a class, and when it's your first year of high school, and you don't know your way around, do not ask certain people for help. I recommend going and asking a teacher for help to your class, just directions, because sometimes if you listen to the wrong person, you'll go the wrong way. That actually happened. I was running late for a class. I told my teacher why, and it was completely understandable. So I didn't get tardy. Like, they didn't mark me absent. They didn't mark me late. I got there right after the bell rang. So, this coming week, I, once again, am probably going to be super duper busy taking care of personal things. Because they said, now school is going to get super duper tough. I am probably going to do some rubber band bracelet tutorials. I might do this ring right here. That's because that's the only thing that I've been showing. It is, I believe it is a, yeah, it's a double band friendship ring. So this is next video. Yes, I just spoiled next video for you. This may be next video. Friendship ring. Friendship rings, you can wear them as pinky rings, toe rings. No, I'm not going to get my feet, uh, my feet out and put this on my feet because I've had it on my hand. And anyways. If you guys have any video requests, please comment down below if you guys have any um, questions that you'd like to be, uh, that you would like me to answer in my next video, uh, well, in a video, please comment down below. I am looking for a whole bunch of different uh, video ideas. I have, as you can tell so far from the I want to say two or three videos that I've posted since I quit doing it every single day. I have done one rubber band tutorial, a strange addiction video, just called Canceling. You should go check that out. And a, well, talking video. Also, because there was, hasn't been anyone asking, because the last one I did was about I think it was either emoji request or it was snowflakes. There is a new emoji um, series episode coming soon. Probably. Still in the works. You know, I've been too busy with learning my way around the high school. 